Okay, let's see what the next job is. Right, wedding band. Wide wedding band. You have to have to solder the crack right across there. If I open it and put it with my fingers, you can just see it opening up. So what we'll do in this instance, we have to clean that joint. We can put a saw blade through it and just gently saw through, but I think that'll take out a little bit too much metal. So what I always keep in my tray is a piece of emery paper that comes off one of the buff sticks. And what I'm going to do is just simply fold that in half, ease the joint open, and then force this emery paper in between it. At the moment, I can't make that wide enough to put the double paper through. So what I'm going to do is just put a single layer through, and that is very, very tight. There we go, pass that through, and then just move the ring up the paper like that. And that way we're cleaning this top face. We'll do is turn it over and do the same again. Try and get the paper into the gap. It's, that's it, it's a bit of a squeeze. There we go. And again, move that up and back down. As you can see on the paper here, it's clean the face. There we go. Now that's a really, really tight joint. I'll look at it across the top here to make sure it's not sticking up or sticking down. If it is, I'll gently ease it back with my pliers. At the moment, that's a perfect joint. Put that into our third hand to hold it. Like that there. And we're going to get some borax and flux paint over the top. In theory, capillary action will take that flux through to the inside of the band, but I'm just going to put a bit on the inside as well just to help it draw the flux through. Like that. Then I'm going to get a larger piece of solder than what we would normally. There we go. Yeah. What we could do in this instance is put the solder in the joint, in between the joint, which may be actually quite a good idea. So what we're going to have to do is put our ring on our ring stick just to force that open a fraction, get our solder and place that in the crack. So what we're going to do is just open up that open that up. Get the solder. The solder in the crack as we go out there. And then just gently ease it back up and off. So the solder is trapped in that joint. So when we heat it up. When the solder starts to melt, the joint will close up perfectly tight. The solder then will make a perfect joint. We'll put some more flux back onto that. Like that there. We shall now light our torch. We're going to need quite a large flame for this because of the heat of the wedding band. There we go. There we go. And just gently heat up the band. Play the flame left and right, left and right, left and right, just to evenly warm up the ring. And it starts to come up to temperature. You can just see the solder starting to melt. The ring closes up. Perfect join. Again, we'll make sure that the ring has come through to the inside, and at this point it hasn't, so just warm up and make sure the solder has flowed all the way through. Let's make a perfect join. There you go. Pop this in the acid. So gently let it cool down first. It's going to be rather hot. If you immediately quench it into the acid, it's likely that the solder joint will split. 
So we'll pop that in the acid, pickle it, and then we'll start to buff it. There we go. Right, we use a round buff stick for the inside. And just simply file it, buff it, whichever is easiest and best comfortable way for you. I'm trying to get the best shot on camera here for you to see. And just go over your join a few times just to make sure that you've got rid of the solder and the, the joint blends in with the rest of the ring. Just angle the ring slightly, just take it on the edge, spin it round, take it on the edge. There you go. And what we'll do, we'll gently buff the ring all the way around the inside as well. Just to make a nice finish. There we go. Then we turn it into a flat buff stick. Gently go over the edge. We have there. Flip it over, buff the edge again, put it aside. Now, as the ring is curved in two planes, in this direction and this direction, what you want to do is when you buff, is to move the buff stick in relation to the ring by the curvature. So, if I buffed straight like this, we're going to buff a flat onto the band, and that's going to be noticed when you're going to polish it up. So, what you have to do is just buff it in the direction of the planes. So we have to buff it this way, at this angle, and also across which as well. And if we do that we should follow the contours of the ring so there's no flats. Make the join impossible to see. Like that. So also what we're going to do in this instance is use that piece of emery paper and just buff the rest of the ring. This isn't going to get all the deep marks out of the band but it's going to get all the light surface scratches out. So then once we've polished it then you present it back to the customer. Oh wow they'll say. You clean my ring as well. And the idea is you clean the whole ring, not just the part that you've soldered. You clean it all. It makes a far better job. All for the sake of 30 seconds extra just above this part of the ring. There we go, back to the join. All buffed. Make sure the edges are fine. Make sure you cannot see that join now. Make sure there's no steps, there's no lips uh, or anything. Right, what we're going to use is the pendant drill now, do a triply bristle brush, hold it, then we're just going to buff the insides, polish the insides, Out the ultrasonic, triple it, rouged it, ultrasonic. I think customer will be well chuffed with that. Lovely, right. Tissue. Pack it. Sorted.